we are playing with Code and Go Robot Mass Activity Set. You can find this toy under Robotics, Construction or Games. Okay, let's play! I picked this one specifically because how we like the robotics, how we like to teach our children to code and program. And, and, and as a mom, I always have that feeling of, of screen time problem. So I like this toy because you don't need an iPad to code, but it still lets you learn about the logic behind programming, behind coding. When you open, the box has the, the activity set guide and then it comes with these big size cards which is very good for a five-year-old to, to see and to follow. They are very colorful and you can even write on them and erase them. And then it comes with the, the mouse and the name of the mouse is Calvi, like the cheese I'm assuming. It comes with a cheese and then these are the, um, these are the cards also. To show and, and direct Calvin. So it comes different sizes of obstacles to set. I'm not going to take all of the purple obstacles and the separators from here but they look like this. It's, again they are very durable so I like that they are durable for in, in the hands of five-year-olds or even classrooms that um, teachers may want to use. So it comes with these plastic plates looking squares actually um, and it is very very basic and intuitive so if you are going to pick a card like this one let's say we pick the card too and then according to card you set up your board with the green squares tiles and then you are going to use the, um, the separators um, the purple separators and then we are going to code the mouse by tapping on it like this to rot. It's going to move, yes! Your goal is to reach to cheese. Okay, let's try one card and then see how it works. As you can see you need a, a, a bigger space to play and I think it is best to um, have it on the, on the table or on the ground with, with, a, with, a, with a surface that needs to be um, sturdy. So the only thing with this toy is of course setting up takes, takes time. And if you think about the five-year-old's attention, you may want to help him or her in, in initial setup. So I played this one with my, my five-year-old and he was, he was, at the end, he was happy to set up um, himself. But the seven-year-old, she really wanted to do herself. Let's say we decided to use only six of the tiles and then we are trying to build according to this card. In the card, it shows that you are using the whole tile. So. Hmm. If we do this, we have to start here, you see, and then to that, we are putting two separators, like this, okay, this, this, and this, and it says put the cheese here. So this is the card number two, so it starts easy challenges, and then it is going to get harder. So the idea is giving a direction to your mouse, right? But for that, you need to come up with, a, with your cards and play with them. So, okay, I want you to go one forward. Yes. And these, these, these are really helpful to, um, to give the direction and, and let them memorize how the, how the coding works. So if it goes one and then turn, right? asking you to turn right okay and then move forward like this so turn turn move forward so let's see if we are able to write our first thought 
shoulders. Come on, and then turn, and then you are going to hit the green. No! <laughs> so looks like we are going to do it again. Okay, so if you hit the red, it is going to back. Okay, let's see. One, red. Okay. No. Okay, we have a glitch. Okay, if you turn it off, it is nice to see this problem, I, I think. So that you will know what to expect from this mouse. Okay, turn and mess. Let's see if I'm doing something wrong. No, okay. Yes, we made our goal. Uh, what I did is that with the problem, and it has a, you see, it has a magnet in the nose. Once it, it hits the other magnet, I'm, I'm assuming the cheese has a magnet too, it bumps and lets you know that he reached his goal. So there are two different speed um, mode in here. One is normal, one is hyper. So I would recommend going with the normal, normal speed, because it is, it, 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 if, if the mouse moves too fast, you can see the coding and your, your step by step uh, code. So you can always come up with your own, own maze and then let the mouse go faster, reach the goal faster, or you can just let them play by, by hitting the mouse fast and the mouse is going to go and do, do the turns. So what I like about this, this toy in general is that yes, we don't need the iPad, we don't need the uh, Go and do the screen. And then the, the second thing is it's very open-ended. I can use these or I can come up with my own mazes. And I usually let the kids have their own mazes and they create their own mazes, which are you know they can use the bridges go under the tunnels and things like that you can also find stuff at home to add this toy the only thing that is 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 i think a uh, problem with their attention span is the cut so um but i believe that this is the the planning step is the most important part of the story so you have to have them to be able to plan before they even touch the the mouse so then they will understand the, the logic behind coding. The, um, and, and there is this, um, in the guide, it also explains very well, uh, if, if then logic. If I do this, then what is gonna happen? So to, to, to give that to a five-year-old, I think is, is, is very important.